the Lord is holy. The Lord is holy. That's why we should worship him. Because he is holy. We should bow down before him. Because he is holy. Heaven and earth adore him. Because he is holy. Shall him and self him bow down before him. Because he is holy. He's so merciful and he's mighty. The hymn writer wrote the mighty fortress is our God. Any good ain't God holy. Yeah, there's none like him. He's so holy. So whatever you ask from the Lord, he'll do it for you. Ask in faith. Not nothing way rare. He'll answer your prayers. How I many know God is so holy? If he's holy, my let me say yes. Say thank you, Lord, for being holy. He knows all about us. The reason I know it is because he's God and he's man. He's lion and he's lamb. Anybody know he's so holy? Yeah. How many know he's holy tonight? There are a lot of things we need in our life. And thinking about that, I'm reminded of a rich man by the name of Davi and a beggar man by the name of Lazarus. And one morning early, one morning early, early Lazarus got up and laid at the rich man's gate. He didn't want no money, no, no. He didn't want no fine clothes or linen, but all he wanted, all he wanted was the crumbs that fell from the rich man's table. And no doubt the rich man ignored him. Soon later, soon later, this old beggar man died. And angels carried him up in the Abraham bosom. Soon after then, the rich man died also. And he was buried. And in hell, in hell, in hell, in hell, he lifted up his eyes. And seeing lathers from a fall in Abraham bosom, this is what he said Father Abraham. Father Abraham, if you don't mind, sir, send Lazarus down, send Lazarus down, that he may dip, 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 dip the tip of his finger in some water and cool my tongue, for I'm tormented in the flame. You see, there are a lot of people out there just like the rich man. You know, all truth is parallel. But your natural has a parallel in the spirit. So all, everything the rich man did, we all have it here. You think you got everything, but I'm sorry to tell you, you don't have nothing. So next time, you go down on your knees. Don't ask the Lord for no material thing. But tell him about all the spiritual things you need in your life. We need love, faith, long suffering now. We needed uh, to help us run this wicked race. It's a mean world we're living in. Uh, if y'all don't mind, uh, can you stand on your feet tonight? Uh, and we don't mind to get real country in here. We're gonna get real country when I say, 